should you feel like this? Like that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> you can't laugh. Sorry. Cheers, y'all. Uh, Welcome to DIY, a new series on my channel where I drink wine and do DIY projects. It's gonna be great, so get ready. I think we're gonna have fun here. I'm gonna drink wine, obviously, because what do I do in every single one of my other videos? Drink alcohol. So I'm just keeping with the theme of myself and this channel and adding a little fashion DIY twist. If you like this video and you think this is a good idea, please like and comment below. I would love to hear your ideas for more DIY projects. And follow me on Instagram, Madeline Hickson. It'll be somewhere. Let's get on to it. We're gonna take this dress. I'm gonna insert a clip. Okay, how was that? Nice. So this dress, and I'm gonna make it into a tie top, like one of those cute little tie tops and a skirt. So it's just gonna be a set instead of this long one. Cause it's a weird knee length and I like the print and I really wanna wear it, but it just isn't flattering. Everything you need is basically just thread that matches. I don't even know if this is black. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, black thread in this case, but any color thread that whatever is the dress you're chopping. A sewing needle or sewing machine. If I had my sewing machine in New York, you darn too not be using it. I also have a pair of scissors, obviously, pins, and elastic. I found this pack of oh, oh, it's five different kinds for one thirty-nine. I would go to your local discount store. That's what I did because at Joanne's this would probably be like seven dollars. So that's pretty cool. For the wine portion, let's talk about what we got here. We have. This House Rosé wine, which I was a little skeptical about, it says it's four bottles or three liters of wine or <laughs> 25 ounce glasses of wine. Aggressive. It was $22, $21.99, and I think it's really good. I um, am starting with this other bottle, but I had some previously, and it's kind of like drier rosé, but it's not too dry, it's not too sweet. I don't know, I'm a big fan. I was pleasantly surprised, but I thought it wasn't gonna be that good. I mostly just got it for the packaging. I'm a packaging whore. I got this Chianti, because I studied abroad in Italy and I like to pretend I'm cultured. I'm not. It's called Carpen... Carpinetto? Carpinetto? That's what we're gonna go with. I gravitated toward it because it was $16.99 and it was the cheapest bottle of Chianti. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, tastes like wine. I really like it. Into this, yep. Mm -hmm. Not mad about that flavor. Suggest, I suggest it. To start, we're gonna have to put this on to like really see where you want it to hit. So for the top, you're gonna need it to be longer than you actually want it to crop you. I did major in fashion design, <laughs> so I know things. I know a couple things. That's why you have to pick something that's longer than what you really want because if it's not, then you're gonna have one really slutty skirt and slutty top. Yikes. My waistline, where my like high-waisted jeans are, I probably want my top to be like here, so I'm gonna put it probably to, like here. So that means, and then you also have to account for the elastic. That means the skirt, if it's high-waisted, is like that short. So let's just put it up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do it to like here. It's just all a guesstimation. That's what DIY is really. It's just people winging it and hoping for the best and then putting it online and other people doing the same. We all know half the Pinterest things that you try online don't work. So I'm kind of marking that, you know. And we're just gonna cut it. We're just gonna go for it. That's, I'm kind of a YOLO sewer. That's what we're gonna do. Not very smart. So if I screw this up, I'm still gonna post it. And I'm drinking wine. This is honestly probably not the best combo. Josie's behind the camera, she agrees. We're doing it. <laughs> I'm paying her in wine. Yes. To just be here and interact with me. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is my skirt. Then we're gonna put the elastic in, so it's gonna be more like here. So cute little dee dee dee. To make it a deep V, I mean, you could just leave it like this if that's your 
that's your thing. You could just make it a cute regular top and then you could crop it, you know, a little more if you want that. And then you just hem it as long as you just make sure your seams are sitting flat. Okay, going for it. And it doesn't really matter how clean you cut this because it's being like folded over anyway. So you won't really be able to. So then you're gonna have just this little cute shirt. And then we'll have to pin it to see how you want it to tie. So let's cover the nip. Most important thing, people. So basically just mark that and like where you're folding it over on the neck as well. Cool. Make this flat. I don't know if you can see this. Make it so this is like a flat line. Josie understands me. <laughs> Pull this over. I wish I had a fucking sewing machine. Bleep that out, oops. You could literally just pin this and then edge stitch it, which just literally means you're stitching like a quarter of an inch, not even from the edge. Most of this bottle is gonna be gone by the time we get to the end of this video. Hopefully I'll still be coherent. Who knows? There's the main event, people. Once it's pinned, all you have to do is sew it. Welcome to DIY. Wow, I should have that as like, mm -hmm. ideas people, we're gonna improve over time. I was in acapella, if anybody was wondering. I was the person that just did the da, da, da in the background. Wasn't really the star, but I was there for the company. I'm having a lot of wine back here. So now we just have to trim this excess. So see how there's, from the folding, there's all this excess. I'm gonna trim that off so that then we can fold it over and cleanly sew it. Well, the camera just blacked out. Apparently it's too hot. So am I. If you spend more than $10 on wine, you're an adult. So I guess you have an adult. <laughs> so then we're just gonna hem this before we hem, and then we're just gonna hem the bottom right after. <laughs> you're just basically folding it in so that it's clean and then stitching it. So it's down. I mean, if you were watching Harry Potter, never say no to If you were watching Harry Potter, we could play a Harry Potter drinking game in the background. I don't know about that. Wingardium Leviosa. Drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every time I stab myself, I'm gonna try. What's the use of trying? All you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. Then I saw her face. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm a believer. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> yeah, honestly, if you don't know it, Shrek soundtrack, ultimate pregame song. Me and my mom put on the Shrek soundtrack when there's been a bad day, and we just run around. Great workout. I need to reevaluate. Uh, it's not. <laughs> that was your answer, folks. It's like, ah! It's got myself here. And then you have to hem people. Like uh, that's like quarter of an inch after folding it twice. Clothes are expensive. Like if we're trying, if we're trying to be transparent here, that's the reason you should like it, so that Josie can drink more wine for free. <laughs> Support alcoholism. <laughs> we like wine. Who doesn't like wine? I don't know. Go whine about it. Damn it, Josie. That's not the segment. This is DIY people, and um, we're more fun here. We're funner, even though that's not a word. We are funner. I do vlog. If you haven't seen my vlogs, you should. They're pretty awesome. They're pretty. They're awesome. So you're not supposed to put pins in your mouth because I guess this girl once, she put pins in her mouth and she swallowed one and she had to go to the ER because it was like perforating her bowel or some crazy shit like that. So we were like, nah, okay, like sure. That happened to that one girl because she was dumb. But then a girl in my ear who was my friend and she's not dumb. So I really don't know how this happened, but you know, you're also very sleep deprived in this major. People underestimate how much work it is. But she, she was doing it and she put a pin in her mouth and she genuinely swallowed it. 
my year. Like this is like 2016 people. And she's falling and she had to go to the hospital. And they literally made her waste an entire day and a half of work. She was just sitting in the hospital waiting for it to pass. You just need to roll this little edge in so that it matches with this edge and it doesn't look stupid. Because this, this is like the tip, like where the you're tie. tying it. Oh, okay. Everybody get into it, get stupid, get started. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Yeah. Let's get it started. Hot. Let's get it started in here. Where? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, ooh, in uh -huh. here. Na 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 na. Even if you fail at the skirt because the elastic's coming in, that might be a little harder for you. If you went at the top, which is pretty easy. Gotta keep talking there. All right, everyone. Here it comes. This isn't even hard, so I don't even know why I'm saying it's the hard part, but I guess it's like more daunting because you need another item. <laughs> I'm gonna use the biggest one because I personally think bigger oh, like um, waistbands are more flattering. But you're essentially gonna need like double what the elastic is because you have to fold it over. I'm gonna make mine a high waisted skirt. If you wanted a low waisted skirt, obviously do it like this. But we're not in the 90s, even though it's coming back. But I just think that's a little revealing. So I'm gonna go for high-waisted right above my belly button. And you don't wanna make it like non-stretched out. You wanna stretch it to like how you would want it on your waist. So don't make it too tight, don't make it too loose. So we did that. Now I can cut it and give it like a little room because you never know. I'm now going to sew it together. And it doesn't have to be amazing. This is gonna be on the inside, so like, if this is the ugliest sewing job you ever do, we're good. Don't even worry, honey. You're gonna be fine. Ah. <laughs> Sewn together your elastic. It looks like shit. And you're gonna put it inside. It's awesome. So also, I wanted to mention, you can't do this if this dress is not oversized. So if you go to a thrift store and you find a dress that's Maybe you're a medium and it's a large, like you need to have at least a size up or just an oversized fitting dress. This is probably like more like a t-shirt dress than it is a regular dress. So that's why it works for this. But if you don't have something that's a little longer in length and a little bigger in size, it's not gonna work, especially for the tie part and the elastic part, the skirt part might work. You might be able to figure it out that way if you just want a skirt out of it and you don't really care about the top. But if you want both parts, you're definitely gonna need something a little longer and a little wider. So just keep that in mind when you are attempting to do this. And you're putting it in the inside. So you're gonna be flipping this over and a little under. So you wanna leave yourself, depending on how much your elastic is, you wanna leave enough to flip it over and still be able to tuck a little bit under so that's not raw, obviously. Josie's yawning. Ugh, hope you're not. <laughs> now, if you had a sewing machine, I would suggest to do a basting stitch, which means put your sewing machine on the highest stitch, which is usually like a five, and it means it's the widest stitch. And you would, all around the edge, probably like a half an inch down around this whole top, you would baste it. Don't back stitch, just leave it basted and go around the whole entire front, and then you'll have two ends, you'll pull it tight, and you'll be able to gather the top of this so you'll know exactly how you want it to go. I'm just gonna try to pin it. If you sew it not on the elastic, you have way more give. Okay, so I put in the elastic. It's all in, but it's not, like it's not touching the elastic, it's only touching the fabric, if that makes sense, because you want the el um, elastic to be able to move within the casing. All I have to do now is sew this all up and um yeah i will be back with a video when it's all sewn up and you'll be able to see what it looks like at the end it'll be so cute okay guys okay guys i finished this casing you see how it's like all gathered and wrinkled here that's how it's supposed to be so your elastic can move throughout the entire thing time wise it wasn't that bad i'd say if i would have concentrated on it which i probably should have done more of but this is DIY and not your regular DIY video. Really cute little skirt. I'm gonna try it on for you and I'm so excited for you to see. 
the whole outfit. I'm gonna Instagram it, so follow me on there if you wanna see more of my DIY creations. I don't know if I'm gonna do more home decor or what I'm gonna take it into, but I know most about fashion, so I'm sure there'll be a lot more of things kind of like this in this realm, just um, upcycling certain things because I do that all the time, so it's easy for me. Cheers, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.